our beautiful beaches and rivers. Here in Brighton, their message is a clear one. These campaigners are protesting against sewage spills in a demonstration organised by Surfers Against Sewage. The paddleboarders, kayakers and swimmers are calling for bathing waters to be protected from raw sewage. It's a really important time right now for protesting on water quality. We've finally got the public to notice, we've got communities noticing, we've even got media outlets running their own campaigns. The time is now to make the water companies notice, the government and regulators, and actually enact some change. That's why they also want to see sewage discharges as a whole cut by 90% in the next seven years. Their demands come days after the industry apologised. The water companies have pledged £10 billion to cleaning up their act, but with more than 300,000 sewage spills in England alone last year, these protesters are sceptical it's going to make any real change. It should be a safe place to swim, it should be a safe place to paddleboard, but it's not, and we've lost, you know, months of good swimming last year. My daughter got sick in a river last year. The, the profits that the water companies are taking, that the shareholders are taking, and that, that money needs to be spent in, on infrastructure. Protests were held across the UK, including here in Scarborough, where things looked a little different. I spoke to the lifeguards. We're not allowed in the water because it's too dirty. Boo. The water here is currently deemed to be too dangerous, but that didn't stand in anyone's way. There's concerns over what this all means for the local economy. The water companies are going to have to put an end to it because tourists are coming here and if they're going to be told that they can't go in the sea, then where are they going to go? They're, they're, this is the primary reason why people come to the seaside. Water UK are adamant that this time they will get it right. In a statement, the chair of the organisation said, the message from the water and sewage industry is clear. We are sorry. More should have been done to address the issue of spillages sooner and the public is right to be upset about the current quality of our rivers and beaches. We have listened and have an unprecedented plan to start to put it right. It's clear that resolving the problem will take time, but this may well be the point we see a turn of the tide. Aisha Zahid, Sky News in Brighton.